Well, around here, we have had the absolute ideal weekend for camping if you're lucky enough to be out there enjoying the great outdoors. Oh, yeah. It's tough to get a spot right now, but even if you're just camping out back, uh, maybe in your yard, just having a nice uh, dinner tonight, it's comfortable, a little warm for some locations, but it's been a really nice weekend. Take a look outside. This is from our coin tower looking off to the north and east. Maybe a haze off in the distance, but for the most part, we've had plenty of sunshine this weekend. I'll tell you, tomorrow we're going to be about 10, 15 plus degrees cooler by the afternoon today with temperatures soaring to the upper 80s and some cooler air on the way. Uh, it's going to feel more like fall probably tomorrow afternoon. We are transitioning from August to September, which means our average highs and our lows are going to continue to go down. And as far as rain goes, I do not have that much rain in the forecast. Maybe a couple drops that we see heading into tomorrow or Tuesday. All right, today's high 87. Salem hit 90. Nice, congrats. 81 degrees is our normal high. You see the Dow's at 94. Pendleton coming in at 89. Burns 89. And Baker City, you folks there on the east side of the state, also right around 90 degrees. I love the views today. Uh, we have plenty of sunshine. Clear sky for the most part. Look at Mount Hood Meadows. You gotta get some snow up there, right? Lincoln City, there's a beautiful view coming out of the Oregon coast where the sunset is going to be just as nice today as it was yesterday. All right, satellite and radar, as I mentioned, not a lot of cloud coverage, so we're not picking up on that. Not much rain either, so we're not picking up on that. I will steer this, though, up to the northwest because this is our trough that's going to be moving in our direction. That's going to be a drop in the jet stream that's going to allow for some cooler air, but it's tame over here. I want to take us back down to the Gulf Coast where we have Hurricane Ida as that continues to move north and gradually to the east as we go through the next few days. Very busy time frame uh, as that hurricane went from Category 2 to Category 4 in a short period of time, that rapid intensification, about 12 hours. Uh, and it went from two to three straight to the, the fourth category there. The wind was very strong. Now back down to a category three. We'll keep it in there for the remainder of today. It's been very rainy. Storm surge not included into this, but check out some of the rain totals from New Orleans uh, to the north. That stretch of, uh, right here uh, picking up anywhere two, five, you know, inches. Uh, max wind gusts have been pushing uh, close to 100 there. You can see uh, New Orleans about 83 miles per hour. Of course, there's some friction close to the surface, things uh, breaking uh, up that strength of the wind, but uh, it's been very, very strong. For us, pretty gentle, about 5 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, wind does increase to the east. You see the fire weather warning, the red flag warning. That's from noon till 9 p.m. tomorrow. I'll show you that cooler air. Watch this. It's slow, but it starts to march right on in as we go through Monday and Tuesday. So we'll be settled into that cool air for at least two days because, as you could tell, it takes a little bit of time to get out of here as well. On Wednesday, we'll finally start to warm on up. But with that little drop, we're going to see more clouds and that cooler air. I have us at 71 tomorrow. That's an October temperature. Tuesday, the same. We have 76 degrees on Wednesday. Nice day. We start September on Wednesday and then back to the mid 80s. So we're kind of up and down. A little bit of roller coaster this week. Yeah, very comfortable. All right. Thank you, Joseph. Well, today,